You guys probably wondering where I've been and where I've been hiding. So listen guys, we just moved to our new apartment, uh, which apartment tour is in our verse family. I should be sharing it, uh, my community uh, place, so you guys can see it. But, so that's where I'm at right now, uh, the new place, the whole tour is on there. But that's why I've been gone for a while. You know, we've been moving, we've been putting things in places. And last week, actually, the whole last week I took off uh, because I wanted to adjust my mind in the right place by that I mean that what matters to me is first of all God being the first thing in my life that's what matters to me so everything that I do I have to make sure that I'm doing it because I have this purpose and this calling in my life kind of like remanage my ways of workflow and like you know edit flow or whatever it is like whatever my schedule consisted of and so I, the whole week actually I was just focused on God I took off off of Instagram and other social media platforms just to be focused on that and I I recommend anybody to do that really if you're really at a place where you don't know like you're stuck in a way what is the next move what is the next thing that I'm supposed to do what is the next big thing I need to be focused on and so that's what I've been doing and I've been focused on God mainly and then also and on my family which is I'm moving uh, to our new place to our new apartment and also other businesses that I that I aspire to be in basically I think vlogging and sh sharing uh, to you guys about my hair is not the only thing that I do in my life and you guys already know that and you guys appreciate that and I appreciate that you guys appreciate that uh, so thank you for being staying tuned to me and also come on back to watch my video after almost a week of not uploading I'm sorry guys I'm going to start uh, being consistent no promises on the near on the near time because like I said I'm focused really on my family and uh, where we are headed and so if I need to get an answer, basically I'll take off, off off a lot of, on a lot of things that consume my time. And so uh, one of which being is editing for myself. And I thought about having a, a editor and hire an editor and stuff like that. And, you know, be able to uh, bring and present to you guys uh, content. I've thought about those things and it's just that I don't have a template for my channel yet. As I'm saying, I'm transitioning to different things and how I want it to be done is like how I imagine it to be done. So once I get to that place, which it will be in the near soon, I would say in a month or two, I will definitely uh, get somebody to edit my videos and, and so that I can deliver more videos for you guys. And you guys seen this thing right here. And yeah, go to uh, diverse.shops to get you, you know, hair jewelry. This is like ASU. Uh, my wife goes to ASU, so kind of like representing that. And then I added uh, uh, my national flag, uh, my original, like where I'm from, my nationality uh, flag on top of it. But this is the ASU colors right there. It's like maroon and uh, yellow. Uh, Pitchfork represents uh, their uh, their school also. It's not doesn't represent the devil or anything like that well that's what they use the mascot as of but the pitchfork doesn't really represent him as in like that's you know you know you know how y'all trying to twist some things uh but all i'm trying to do is tell you guys that i have a shop for you guys that you guys can go get your uh, uh hair jewelries uh, it's called diverse.shops or diverse.shop and i will have more jewelry available for you guys i'm working on those things also and i'm working on a lot of different things like diverse family have uh, been something that i aspire to get up to deliver more videos on so hopefully you guys catch me on that side also uh, with my family with my wife it's a verse and so thank you for you guys patient enjoy this video i hope this video is all banger for you guys i'm gonna get back to my routine okay I'm going to try to get back to my RT. No promises. Like I said, this whole house needs to get fixed. I don't even want to show you guys. This whole house needs to get fixed. We just moved out here and we need to put everything up and all that. So thank you guys for patience. Like, share, subscribe. You already know what to do. Diverse family getting big. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today is a new day. I'm not trying to be loud because my wife is sleeping. But, you know, banger, banger. I'm gonna show you guys basically how to sleep with your jaw locks and uh, if this don't come out as a segment of a video it will be the entirety of the video explaining how I sleep and how I get up so usually before I sleep I do a few routines uh, as you guys already know I uh, mentioned in the last videos that uh, I work out now for 21 days I have a uh, amount 21 days of basically where I fast from meat uh, so anything that is a meat 
I don't eat for that 21 days. And that is to discipline my body, to discipline myself, my mind, my will. So I'm trying to master that and I'm in the process of mastering it. People say that habit takes about 21 days to 66 days or something like that. If your willpower is, I think, is strong enough to handle it, I think you can put a routine in your schedule and you will be actually to follow it and it may be challenging at the beginning but later on it becomes easier. So I'm at the stage where it's becoming easier not to eat meat, avoiding it. Because uh, we had cooked some pasta with some uh, chicken in it and uh, as I was eating it I noticed the chicken come up and I'm like I'm putting it aside and I look at it I'm not gonna eat and I tell it myself I'm gonna t I tell it to myself I'm not gonna eat that chicken but all to say is that before I sleep I do a few routines and I have my I vlog my day or I talk about my day in the videos and I don't upload it on there I just have my uh, private account that I upload every day of my life where I vlog myself basically not vlog but I talk about my whole day and how it went down anything that's emotion uh, uprising spiritual uprising personal uprising um, I talk about and how I overcame it or just just basically talking to myself and I I try to listen to it I try to do it in the mornings and listen to it at night besides that of course I told you guys I schedule out my next day uh, three personal things three uh, business and three spiritual things uh, to accomplish and this is above and beyond uh, what I usually do or things that are not on my routine uh, so basically, let's say tomorrow I'm looking to read this book or start this book. Uh, it's not on my routine yet. So what I do is I put it on that list and I say, I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I go ahead and do that uh, the next day. And it's a challenge and it's accomplishing. I, I grade myself off of it every week and I uh, have progressed by tremendously, to be honest. And I'm not trying to flop. I have flopped uh, one week, but I'm getting back at it and I'm trying to keep that pace that I had the, the week before. Besides that, of course, the workout, the push-up workouts and the workouts that I that will be uploading soon on my transformation for 21 days of fasting and how much it has affected my body. Besides that, I do, uh, I do avoid my phone for one hour before I go to sleep and also TVs. There's a lot of studies that show you guys the fact that how your phone can affect you and your mind and how you sleep and how you think uh, because it's all recorded on your subconscious even though you don't know it and so I've been trying to avoid as much fun as I can I have timer limits and stuff like that or down times or what they call it screen time limits on my phone on the apps that I used to usually use so I trying to do a tremendous reduction reduction on those but I digress from all that just quick tip and what I do at night uh, before we get into the video, of course, you guys already know it. Here is intro. Intro. All right, guys. This is what I do before I go to sleep, and I haven't done it recently, and that's why my hair is a mess. I did that on purpose because I wanted to deliver this video for you guys, and also surprise myself as transformation because I've never had braids like this, this tight in a way for dreadlocks, so that I can put my do rag, do rag on. And so I'm gonna be putting my do rag on, and as you guys see, all this fuzziness. Probably getting tired of me being so close on y'all faces, but it's fine, y'all. But when I wake up, I will give myself a taper, and it will be in this video, so you guys be able to see it. And I'll give myself a taper, and also I'm probably gonna give you guys how to do that taper. I'll put this on right now, um, and I'm I'm gonna strategically, 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 str strategically, how it is basically. Just like putting it on top, just smacking it down I can. Or I can just stretch it like this. And what I would prefer to do is actually just give it a little bit of moisturization. Oil, whatever oil you guys use, just place it in between your hairs before you go to sleep. Really good to moisturize your hair at night, also in the morning, especially if you're wearing do-rag. If you're not wearing do-rag, might be a bad idea because you might end up messing your pillows up. This will help me basically get my hairlines back because the other ones are trying to come back down and I will fix my hairline tomorrow so you guys see on this video how I will make this all stuff dark by using and leveraging some of the hairs that were popping out already and keeping also this shape up that I want to keep and not using my dreads hair uh, that I wanted to go in there instead I use some baby hairs to make it dark and if I don't use much baby hairs it will look bald and I don't like that. This is not tight at all so it's not hurting my hair. It's not hurting my head at all. A lot of people were worried about like dang bro you stretching your head back and 
it's like this is my first time I've done braids like this in forever in two years almost and you're over here trying to judge uh, I would say thank you for your comment but if you actually follow me then you know I don't do this <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's always the ones that just pop up new that, that like to roast and stuff like that if you pop up new just shush let the OGs talk and you learn a little bit and then you can talk okay and for those of you guys that are about to subscribe I'm not hitting on y'all if you guys already got knowledge bring it on but if you guys don't know what I've been doing what I've been doing what I have done don't try to jump in and act like y'all know me and stuff like that because the OGs will tell you and correct you straight up in the comments they will get at you if you're trying to roast you would get roasted kind of tired so everything that's coming to my mind I'm almost speaking it so you guys see how I strategically just put it placed it I didn't slide it down or anything like that I literally just placed it on top and I'm gonna place it one more time down here so that when I stretch this and I'm gonna be able to pull it back just a little bit so every hair right here think my forehead is all the way up here golly so everything right everything right here I'm kidding everything right here ends up slicking back so it's literally what I'm going for and I'm not trying to put the do-rag too tight to where I wake up with a dang looking like a Scorpion King character so I don't even know what that means but you know what that means now one thing that I did uh, you guys see it already is the fact that I let this loose the reason why I do that is my dread is in a ponytail so if I tie it with that my whole dread will look like somebody just slapped me in the back of my head while I'm sleeping just sm just sm just smack me in the back and I look like a goddamn uh, peanut head you know what I'm saying so I'm not trying to look like that so I have uh, strategically left out strategically left out alone and basically I'm pulling a little bit tight on this so that you guys can see this lay back so nothing is really tight like I said this is loose you know what I'm saying this is all to protect the front of your hairline and I'm up, I might pull it up just a little bit just for safety reasons and if you guys don't have this uh, dreads in the back on uh, like my ponytail then you guys can tuck it in under there and pull it down to where you get it really tight like waivers do so you can even do this so so go back down like this and almost like pull it down but I'm not trying to stress my head at all this is the night time I'm about to go to sleep right now so when I wake up it'll be the same video for y'all for me it'll be about six hours of good sleep oh dang Ah, just woke up. <laughs> so tired. All right. Um, I'm gonna show you guys basically a taper. Jesus, I need to wake up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like in the front. What I didn't tell you guys is I put the strap on top of where my hairline is at so that I can really get the front line really down and uh, so I can get a crispy line up. At the same time, like I told you guys before, I don't brush much down on my front hair. And a lot of people ask, like, well, how do I get a hairline then? Or how do I, what if I wanna cut it two, three inches back or an inch back or something like that in the front so that I can get a crispy line up in the front? And you guys can do that. What I'm telling you guys is the more you guys brush it in the front and get lined up, the more you're cutting more hair from your dreadlocks. So basically, if you start off where I'm starting off right now, you will see where I ended up in the previous videos before I fixed it. Like, if you like, looked like five months back or something before I started growing it to get it connected to the rest of my dreads. I literally had a bunch of uh, short hair right here and it kept on going back and back and back and back and of course it would have just looked like I, I had like I had done that on purpose but I really didn't it just kept on going back and that can cause basically a line up damage in a way like your hairline would not look a certain way and it will keep on going back as you keep brushing it down but if you guys already distance it in a way of like doing it on purpose then you guys will be safe and you will just have hairline just like how normal people grow their short hair or wavers or whatever uh, and then get a line up showing you guys what it looked like in the front and you guys have seen the frizz and this is the results oh the frizz is gone y'all see that 
And this is how you can avoid it, if you, especially if you got a fresh one. For a few days, you might want to do that. But right now, what I'll do is, I'll just cut my hair. Alright guys, this is what it looks like the transformation. It was a pretty quick one. As you guys can see, I rocked it and knocked it out amazingly. Even my facial hair, I was able to cut this whole thing that's been growing for a while. Makes me look like I'm way older. So I took it out. Just light myself up. Line up was cool. Not that crazy brazy, you know what I'm saying? This is like easy to do at home quick you know what i'm saying quick rich get skin type of thing you know what i'm saying um so if you want to get rich <laughs> you do this you know say you look more presentable of course not quick rich that doesn't make sense why i would say that yeah this is how you kind of fix your um frizzy dreads after getting retwist and sleeping with it and it looks like it's freshly done looks like i just got the braids uh i'm gonna just put some oil uh in a bit in between so that it don't be dry at all so you gotta moisturize the sun since the summertime. Thank you guys for watching this whole video. I appreciate everybody that stayed tuned. You know what I'm saying? You guys are learning some things. And as you guys are learning some things, you gotta know that um, this is for your benefit as in like doing it at home. It's really great and awesome uh, learning it at home. You guys gotta try to do it at home and then be able to master, especially if you wanna be able to utilize it in the future for your family or for your friends or make even money off of it uh, by going to barber school and stuff like that. So this is just like a just like a self care in a way. So thank you guys for staying tuned. If you guys have fresh hairlines or if you guys have fresh braids or twists or whatever it is, uh, this is how to fix it, uh, especially overnight. So just like a one night process thing. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm out.